Hello and welcome to MG Tracy. So if like me, uh, in younger life, you used to have different attempts at having a microscope and it was always a bit disappointing. You couldn't get the light right or... So now, of course, a tiny scope camera have sort of come to our aid with that. Here is a microscopic camera with a really good optical resolution that you view through your phone. Uh, so I've got my iPhone 12, I've got the Wi-Fi box and I've got the tiny scope cam. Let's have a little look at what you get inside the box. So inside the Wi-Fi box is, yes, there is a little Wi-Fi unit. Actually, this is your power pack for your tiny scope camera. Um, you can see there that when you plug it in, um, you can just charge it up. Uh, it doesn't take very long, actually, less than an hour. And then when you hit this button here, you can see you've got a light come on, and now you're in Wi-Fi mode. So for the first time, I'll show you what to do. This then um, will connect to the tiny scope camera, and that's how you connect to your phone. So I've got an iPhone 12 here, but it works with Android as well. Uh, either Google or the Apple Store will let you download. Uh, this is what we want to download. Uh, obviously it's called Tiny Scope, so if you get that downloaded to your phone, then uh, we're ready to go. We'll just have a look at the camera itself. So you get some nice little droppers here, which are if you're going to be doing little liquid samples and you want to see things swimming around, uh, and they come with a very special little slides here that allow you to drop the liquid in so that it ends up between the two pieces of glass, which is very clever, rather than on the surface and it all tends to tip off. It does come with um, four slides pre-made for you. I think you should be able to see there, this one is Dragonfly Wing, so we'll have a look at that one under the microscope. And then we've got um, some pollen. My nemesis as a hay fever sufferer. Cat hair. Actually, we seem to be running through all the things that I'm allergic to today. And celery leaf. So we'll have a look at how those actually look when they go through the tiny scope. So this is the unit itself. Uh, and you get nice things like a cleaning cloth here. You've got a bag to store it in. Okay, so you've got a bit that comes off on the side here, which helps you keep out the light when you've got too much light. And it will literally go over the slide and hold it in place like that. And there's two ways you can do it, depending if you're doing a liquid or if you're doing a solid. And then that just, so you don't lose it, that just lovely clicks up on there. So the next thing you need to do is download the Tiny Scope app, and I'll show you what that looks like. Okay, so whatever format you've downloaded it to your phone in, this is what the Tiny Scope app looks like. And you'll find there's a number of helpful videos and things on there. But once you've paired it to the uh, camera itself, it's pretty simple. You're just going in and hitting that middle button there. So I'll just show you how you pair it now, how we put it all together and get the phone uh, and the microscope and the little Wi-Fi box all talking to one another. Okay, so with your little Wi-Fi box, you've got plug-in um, USB there. You'll find you've got various other different adapters depending what phone you have. And then another type of modern USB goes in the bottom of the camera there. So that, I say, is going to provide the Wi-Fi and the power for the microscope. And then it's really just a question of turning it on and you'll see it's obviously working because the lights have come on on the camera. So the next thing we need to do is to swap your phone uh, onto the Wi-Fi of the cam, and you'll see it there, scope cam. So you do that, select that as your Wi-Fi source for your phone. You can then boot up your app. So when you hit that middle button, tell it you want the tiny scope cam. So this is now the screen for the microscope. So you've got the unit itself, you've got your power and your Wi-Fi that's transmitting a signal to your phone. 
let's have a little play. So here you can see the dragonfly wing and just the sort of quality you're getting as I move that around there. So there was our little dragonfly wing that we started with and you can see the quality of the photograph that the tiny scope has put on to my iPhone and because you've now got it on your iPhone you can of course zoom in even more and because the resolution is 13 megapixel you can have a really even closer look here at that edges of the dragonfly wing and really look at this on your phone and of course photograph or whatever okay so we're going to have a look at um, pollen now see how quickly that zoomed in and focused itself in auto mode and there you are those are tiny flecks of pollen they are my nemesis in the summer so obviously i can't normally see them um, but they are what give me terrible hay fever in the summer so um, this is an amazing bit of kit. Um, I think it's for all ages, from children or to adults like myself. You're using whatever phone you've already got. Um, it's dead easy to set up. If I can do it, anybody can. And there are so many interesting things to look at around you. And, and you're looking at everything with a new light, really. Only what does it all look like through a microscope? Um, I'll put the links below. Um, to compare old tech and new tech, here is my Viewmaster. This is made from Bakelite in the 1950s, so very, very early 3D technology. But look, just have a look at what that print looks like. If we would just drop that, the old piece of cardboard on there, that's a printed line. And what you're seeing here, I'll take a photograph of that. What you're seeing here are just the little bits and pieces on the card. Just amazing, isn't it? I'll hold that down you can see how quickly the tiny scope camera focuses in and shows you unbelievable detail close up from my funny old viewmaster slide so a really really impressive piece of kit i'll say links are below in the description box please like share and subscribe and come back every week for a few more fun things here on mg tracy